Wymore School offers a unique learning environment ensuring that all boys succeed to their potential and equipping them with life skills to help them for a brighter future. Rymore is a state boarding and day school nestled in a beautiful setting within the Quantock Hills. With extensive grounds and beautiful buildings, there is a spacious yet homely and historic feel to the school that ensures familiarity the moment you see it. As a state school, the education is free to all, and should boys wish to board, they receive excellence that is affordable. I truly believe that every boy should be pushed and stretched to achieve the highest that they can academically and for us we achieve this in a number of ways. I think we have a curriculum that is absolutely tailored to the needs of the boys that we have here, making sure that we mix the academic and the practical and the vocational. We have small class sizes with a high number of staff in lessons supporting the boys and an exceptional learning support programme that actually helps look for the needs of individuals, whether they're at the very top end academically or whether they need more help. But in addition, our excellent results are achieved through some incredibly dedicated teachers. Being a boarding school, many of them give up much of their time after school and during prep in the evenings to continue to push the boys to achieve at the highest they possibly can. And many outside um, agencies, many employers often say to us, you can recognise a Brymore boy. And I think you truly can recognise a Brymore boy by the way they conduct themselves and the way they appear and the way they hold themselves and can hold a conversation. So that's something we place highly in terms of the development of the individual. Being a boarding school, it means we can work with them much more intensely, much more closely. And it's important that we have a homely environment for them, but that we also stretch them. And our three R's, resilience, responsibility and resourcefulness, we try and achieve through an extensive activity programme. A programme that is designed really to try and find the best in everyone and to try and get them used to working together and working as a team, but also working as an individual so that they have high expectations of themselves so that they can continue to achieve in whatever field that they do. One of the things that I think makes Brian more special is the fact that we look at educating the whole child. Um, and the academic success is incredibly important to us. So teaching and learning, which is my responsibility, is one of the things that we put at the heart of the curriculum. And we spend a lot of time training staff and giving them good quality staff development. We've worked on literacy across the curriculum. Um, we've worked on ensuring that learning objectives are in all lessons, making sure that everybody uses success criteria. And we have a really dedicated team of staff who particularly want to make sure that every child succeeds. But the thing I think I want to emphasise is the high expectations that we have. And it doesn't matter who you are, and it doesn't matter what ability you are, it's all about doing the best that you possibly can. And we reward that where we can as well. So again, I think both staff and students are very proud of the way that they've achieved here. And I think it really is unique. It's different from any other school that I've ever worked in, in the sense that there is that closeness and there is that recognition of success. And I think boys who, in other schools, perhaps wouldn't work so hard are really motivated here and really want to do well. We put a lot of emphasis on the learning environment, we look closely at classrooms and again particularly on open days and things like that people have commented on the quality of displays, the quality of work that's being done by the boys um, and our big focus at the moment is extended writing. Um, I'm an English teacher so I'm quite passionate about that. It is about vocational mixed with academic but we also understand that the whole child is the thing that makes it successful. So again there are boys here who are academic, there are boys here who are more interested in the vocational but all of them do well and I think all of them benefit from that holistic approach to the curriculum. Since coming to Brymore, I think that I've really applied myself more in lessons and I've achieved more academically because of this. I was really nervous coming to Brymore. It was a big decision, but I'm really glad I did and stuck with it and it was hard at times, but I've really benefited from it and learned a lot from it. Um, I really enjoy boarding at Brymore because there's loads of activities to do and it really feels like home. Achievement in the maths department is our main goal. 
um, we want to improve the and maximise the life chances of the boys here at Brymore. Um, this, having worked in many inner city schools, is a unique place to work. It offers the best chance for all abilities of the boys here. One of the most amazing things about Brymore is the ability we have to personalise things for all the boys. We are proud of the fact that we have very small class sizes, normally around 15 students or less, and we have a brilliant learning support team who specialise in the subjects that they support in, meaning that every boy, regardless of ability, is challenged to achieve their best. In our parental role, it's so important that the students are listened to, and that the students feel respected and that their needs are met. It's fundamental to all we do. Here at Brymore we have a range of activities during the evenings and at weekends and that's very important so that the students gain new experiences and also it helps them not to miss home too much. The quality of accommodation is superb and again this is important because it just makes the boys feel that it is a home from home. <music> I'm delighted to be head boy and um, it's a really real privilege to lead the senior student leadership team. Um, I'm really proud of myself um, becoming head boy. Um, I never thought I would ever, ever get it. But um, I put myself forward, I, you know, stepped up to the task. At Brian, we have small class sizes and I feel that really helps because you get more attention and all the help that you need in a lesson, whereas at a normal school, you might not get that. I think fitness is a really important part of of life at Brymore and we do this thing called Chad's Hill Runs, it's a three and a quarter mile run up and down Hillland and students are required to do one of these every single week. Sport is one of the four cornerstones at Brymore, it's a very well participated thing, we are mainly in rugby but we do athletics and cricket. I've represented school at rugby and cricket and thrown the hammer for Brymore and Sedgemoor. As an older student, I, um, I help with mentoring and, and helping the younger boys settle in just to let them know that there's someone here to help them whenever they, they need to talk to someone. When I came to Brymore, I found out about the four cornerstones. They were farm, garden, design technology and sport. I enjoy all of them. They're brilliant. Since I've been here, I have been a member of the poultry club, the beekeeping club and the young farmers club which I would probably never have done at my previous school. Very much our emphasis is on giving boys confidence and promoting their success so that they leave here having achieved the very best that they possibly can. JFK coined the phrase, a rising tide lifts all ships. Results at Brymore are improving year on year and the boys can see that they have something to aim for. Um, they want to beat each year group as they're coming through and they're so keen to do this. I really hope this has inspired you to come and see us because I think if you do you'll see what really makes us special and that's the boys themselves. Mm -hmm.